wondering if Noom is right for you? All right, well here I'm on the home page for uh, the Noom app. It's May 4th, 2020. And I'm looking at this. This is their uh, reference they're giving you to show you how great this is. Um, it's kind of old, hmm, 2016 November. And it's also done in Korea, okay. Um, I'm wondering why if they have some great um, information, they wouldn't have a more up-to-date study, maybe one in the US, you know, just thinking. So they go and talk about how obesity is blah, blah, blah. We all know that. I'm um, looking down here. It's really popular. They're saying blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, honestly, no one reads this. I'm just reading it because <laughs> I know the story. So here we go. To investigate the long-term efficacy of the app, blah, 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 the study period was divided in two phases, initial up to 26 weeks. And guys, listen to this, long-term, 27 to 76 weeks. I don't know, is that long term? That doesn't feel long term to me. That feels like another up and down uh, thing. It, it, long term is years, years and years, like the rest of your life. So that isn't good. So let me skip ahead here. I wanna go to the meat, yeah, the important thing. Okay, let's look at the weight loss. Here it says that the resulting final BMIs for women and men, women started at 28, and their um, final was 26.5. This is the average across all tables. Okay, well that's pretty nothing, 1.5%, all right? And for the guys, it was um, a little bit more 20, um, let me see, whatever. Their, their ending was 28 and their start was 30, so it's two. Okay, uh, another interesting thing is, it says with 22.7 experiencing more than 10% weight loss, Okay, well that is like directly in contrast to what their table shows. So, you know, statistics lie and <laughs> how you interpret them, but you know, here, percentage of weight loss, less than 5% body weight right here. It shows that for women, which is the black one, it's 31.47. So less than 5% of the women lost, um, I'm sorry, 31.47 of the women lost less than 5% of their body weight. If you're 150 pounds, that means you lost less than 7.5 pounds. And by the way, one of the stats in here um, that I, it was at 22, um, I'm sorry, 77.9% of people lost weight at all. In other words, 22 approximately percentage of people didn't lose weight. So first you got the 22% who don't lose weight at all. And uh, muddied with that, we have the, by the way, 31% um, lose less than 5%. And then look at look at this interesting thing. They got 10% losing, 10% weight loss by 23% of the people. But then right here, they say 10 to 15. Now, why would you say 10 here and then 10 to 15 here? No, you would say 10.1 or whatever, but they want you to look here. And oh, and, and, and you know, 20% weight loss. These numbers are really small and they're studied for a total of 76 weeks. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that this information, even telling you how ineffective this diet app is, is right there on their homepage. But you don't wanna believe it because you're a dieter, right? And I was a dieter too for 25 years and I can tell you that another diet is not the answer and Noom and all the apps you guys they're all diets that's what they do they control what you eat via rules whether it's an app written down it doesn't matter but you have your own app and it is reasonable that you don't know it because you get so many messages so many ads pummeling you day in, day out, not only advertisements commercially, but also you get messages from your family, your mom, your dad, your spouse, your uh, boyfriend, your girlfriend, your whatever, your kids, telling you of the next latest and greatest diet. So in our heads, we have matched that weight loss and diet up, but they don't belong together. Being a dieter belongs with dieting. That's not weight loss. Being a dieter is not being a healthy, thin person. Being a healthy, thin person is when you embrace your very own app, which is your hunger. You need to learn to listen to the app that Mother Nature gave you that is hunger. Make friends with her. Listen to her. Learn about her. Don't fear her. Embrace her. 
Understand that when you eat with hunger, hunger is is the best sauce and eating is the most amazing experience, the most beautiful pleasure that you can have several times a day if you just match it up with hunger. And we get used to eating without hunger and we think it's pretty good and it's okay. But you guys, once you rematch hunger in eating, you will not want to eat without hunger because it isn't as good and you will want better eating because you love food. I love food. I love eating. And being a healthy, thin person and being a dieter are completely different because being a healthy, thin eater is loving food. It's, it's embracing the food your body's craving and being a dieter is fighting, fighting, fighting. So I know it's tempting to, to hit that app button, download that thing and feel like, okay, tomorrow we begin or next week we begin. It's so tempting. And Sadly, we're kind of in a quick fix world that we live in, right? We want an answer. We want to, we want, okay, I've done it. But paying that money and getting that app on your phone does nothing for you long-term. This, the, again, look at the studies, read it yourself. It's just so funny that that's right on their homepage. Cause I've looked at this app a while ago and I didn't see it or in, maybe some government thing made them put it on there because they were getting complaints. I don't know. That's just speculation on my part. But it's just really funny that it's down there in this teeny little writing uh, on the laptop version anyway. And yet, you know, I'm sure no one looks at it because we don't want to, because we want to lose weight and we think maybe this is the answer. It's not. All it's going to do is prolong your diet mentality. You have a healthy, thin mentality buried inside you. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Dig her, dig him out say, hello, I'm going to start listening to you. And if you think you can't do this, I always say this, but if you think you can't listen to hunger to know when to eat, think how really weird that is. How do you think we were made? Why were we given hunger? Right? It's very powerful. And there's a, a uniting yourself with reuniting yourself with your hunger is the best gift you'll give yourself. Okay. And I got to say, as long as you can afford to pay for food, right? And we skip over that part, but that's really awesome that we have all this wonderful food isn't it? Yes. So enjoy it. Okay. You guys come to our private Facebook group, watch other videos. I go over all kinds of stuff. Hunger, hunger, hunger. That's who you want to get to know. That is who you want to love and embrace and stop fearing and work with. It's the big thing. It's the drive. It's a beautiful drive. It's a beautiful drive. Okay. Get, get familiar with it. Learn that if you, you know, you're eating and you kind of feel like, well, I might be done, but I don't know. Say, okay, I can always eat more. And could I just sit here on this edge where I'm not really sure and just wait and just wait. And you put that together over and over, delaying eating more, riding a little edge there when you're not really sure. Guess what that leads to? Weight loss. Oh yeah. Permanent, happy weight loss. That's what you want, right? So, um, again, watch more videos. I cover a lot of topics. I have a book and a workbook on our website. I hate plugging it because then I think I feel like just another diet company and I'm not. Believe me, I have spent way more on this than I have made, but I have that available to you because it's how I got through it. I learned this from my grandmother who you know, I just watched what she did and now I'm trying to be your grand- grandmother, seriously, and show you how to do this. It's If you can diet, you can do this. If you can diet, you can do a lot of things because dieting is hard, right? Well, at least... <laughs> Yes, it is. The first time it isn't, but every other time it is. And you know, it's never just one. So, okay, please like, share, subscribe, because apparently if you don't have 10,000 followers, you're kind of nothing on on YouTube. And I'd like to get this message out there. So if you can help me that way, I'd appreciate it. And I will be back soon. And you can do this. Yes, you can. This is normal. This isn't weird. I'll be back soon. Thanks for being here.